Coinventio back with another video. This is an add-on to the last video I made, which is how to create a free form. Last video I showed you how to make a completely free site using MyBB and 000 webhost. In this video I will be going more in depth into MyBB and I will also be teaching you how to add a theme to your brand new form. Okay, let's get things started off here by going into your website. Log in if you are not already logged in. Now what you want to do is simply click the admin CP which will bring you to the admin control panel which is how you edit all the things in your site that you will need to edit in the future. When clicking upon the admin control panel you might be prompted with a, uh, another login screen. Simply log in. This is just to ensure that it's actually you and not someone else on your account. Okay, now what you want to do is open up a new tab and then go to mods.mybb.com slash themes. It will be in the description below, so do not worry. This is where things get a little more customizable. Here you can find a theme that suits you right and suits your site, and then pretty much install it and add on to the th website. So now what you want to do is scroll down and pretty much find a theme that suits both you and your site the best. And then once you go ahead and find it, click on the theme and then simply click download read all the information I already read this previously and then click agree you then will be prompted with the download link simply click on it and open it up and now what I want you to do is pause the video while you search for your themes okay now that you're done open up your theme and this will pretty much give you a basic concept of how you're going to install it to the FTP program which I taught you how to use in the last video if you don't know what it is go to my previous video and it'll help you out now that you have your theme go ahead and open up your FTP or FileZilla account and then log in you want to then click the public underscore HTML folder and then follow whatever it says to do in your theme download. So for this, my first file says images, so I want to find images and open that up. And then what well, all I have to do for this theme is simply drag and drop the theme which is called elegant into my FTP client, which then will install it and I will fast forward until I'm done. Okay, I'm done. If you got lost in that last part, simply send me a PM and I will be sure to respond right away and give you full details on how to do everything. Now that you added all of it to the, your FTP, go ahead and go back to your control panel. And from here, what you want to do is click templates and style. This will allow you to edit and add all the themes that you wish to add to your site. Click import a theme and then click choose file and from there find where your document is located at. For me what I'm going to do is open up my folder and go back to my .xml file which is what you need to upload to. And I'm simply going to drag and drop that wherever I open up my file and then simply find where I just dragged it which is the elegant theme and I'm going to open that up. Once again, if you get lost during this video, simply either rewind it and watch it again or send me a PM and I will definitely respond as soon as I can. Okay, once you found your file, what you want to do is click ignore version capability and make sure every other box is checked. Name it whatever you want. I normally simply just uh, name it the same as what I downloaded, which is elegant. And then click import theme. Now that your theme's done, what you want to do is make it a default. Simply click back to themes and then click on elegant options and then set as default. And of course by elegant options I mean whatever you saved your theme as which would definitely be different based on whichever theme you found. Now if you click view form in the top right it'll bring you to your theme and your site and there you go you have completely customized your theme now you're probably flipping out and being like whoa whoa wait what about my header don't worry I haven't forgot about uploading your header and I will teach you that right now what you're going to have to do is go back to your FileZilla account and reconnect then go to the themes where you download it which should be somewhere in the images 
I can find it. There we go, elegant. And what you want to do now is type in either header or logo. And it should be the .png. And what you want to do is view and edit to make sure that is it, which it is. You want to then go to your left box, which is your actual computer files, and just click desktop to make things easier and drag and drop your logo.png onto your desktop. Now that you're, that you're done with that, go ahead and open up your picture editing software. For me, I'm using Photoshop. Once you open, click File and then Open and go to your desktop and then find where your logo is. From here, you pretty much edit it to exactly how you want and click Save. Okay, now that you're done editing, go ahead and save it to your desktop again and replace it. Okay, you're done with your editing software. Go ahead and minimize that and minimize everything else. And then you want to find your logo. Open up your FileZilla again and then you're going to want to drag your logo from your desktop into your FileZilla. First, I guess it would help if I reconnect since I was disconnected. And there you go. And you want to override it by clicking OK. And now go back to your internet and refresh it. There you go. It's that simple, that easy. And now your site is completely done and it looks original from everyone else's. If you found this video to be helpful at all, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. This video is also sponsored by Coinventio.com, which is a free forum promotion site and also a CEO and webmaster management site. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all stay tuned because I got a lot more MyBB tutorials and other forum tutorials along the way. Goodbye. Shh. <laughs>